Good evening and welcome. Grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Your spirit. Welcome to our celebration this 17th Sunday of Ordinary Time. At the 6 p.m. Mass, we just celebrated the First Communion of some of our Vietnamese uh, children. And it is always exciting you know, to see their faces so... Uh, enthusiastic and joyful to receive Jesus for the first time. I hope that we as well could continue to uh, hold on to that excitement, that desire, that joy of receiving Jesus in the Eucharist. Let us now prepare ourselves for this celebration to receive our Lord in His Eucharist and in His Word by first acknowledging our sins asking God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy.
let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, you may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, Forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me, and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord, my God, you have made me, your servant, king, to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased by Solomon's request. So God said to him, because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor riches, nor for the life of your enemies, for understanding so that you may know what is right I do as you requested I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now and after you there will come no one to equal you the word of the Lord
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. According to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, we hear about the parable of the buried treasure and the pearl of great price. We are told that the one who finds it is filled with great joy, that he or she is willing to sell all in order to acquire this buried treasure, this pearl of great price. Is there something in our own experience where we are willing to let go of our wealth or make a difficult sacrifice in order to acquire something we consider a treasure or a jewel? I remember when I first came here in the States as a student pursuing graduate studies in computer science, I was riding the bus from Norwalk to West Coast University in Los Angeles. So this was part of my routine. I have to uh, 
take two buses, make the transfer in order uh, to uh, reach my destination. One day, I saw advertised in a penny saver magazine, a car for sale. I thought it was a pearl, a treasure that can bring joy and comfort in my life. So I gathered my savings that I worked hard for and bought my first car. It's like a boy having his first bicycle. So I used this car to go to school and to go home, which made my life easier. I used this car to visit and date the girl that I was courting when I was pursuing my degree. I carefully maintained this car myself, washing it, changing the, ba uh, the, the batteries, maintaining it, tuning, tuning it. But over the years, the value of this treasure, the glitter of this pearl started to dim and lose its brilliance. Dings started to appear like any car. Parts started to wear out and fail. It got wrecked in an accident. Thank God I was not seriously hurt. Eventually, I let go of the car. In our gospel today, the buried treasure and pearl of great price that Jesus is talking about is one whose value and glitter and glitter do not fade nor dim, but last for all eternity. It is the kingdom of heaven, our home with God, our love relationship and life with our heavenly Father, with Jesus and the saints. This is the buried treasure and pearl of great price that we need to find, acquire, and hold on to. At the end of our journey here on earth, what really matters is whether we found God, held on to our relationship with Him, and lived our lives according to His plan and dream for us. One of the Beatitudes in the Gospel says, Blessed are the single-hearted, for they shall see God. This single-hearted person that the Beatitude talks about is one whose central focus and absolute priority is God. So much so that he or she is willing to let go of other things, wealth, belongings, attachments, material things, just to hold on to God and his kingdom. My brothers and sisters, by virtue of our baptism, our incorporation into the Catholic Church, and the faith that we have received, we all have found this buried treasure, this pearl of great price. Who is God? Our relationship with Him. Our home in heaven reserved for us. Finding this treasure is one thing, holding on to it is another. Like the parable of the seeds falling in, on different soils because of temptations, worldly cares and trials, personal struggles and choices, how many of our Catholic brothers and sisters have let go of this treasure who are no longer practicing their faith? How many have let go of the kingdom of heaven in exchange for a brief and fleeting moment of earthly joy and, and pleasure? Families, marriages have been broken. Priestly vocation sometimes have been abandoned in exchange for a brief and fleeting moment of earthly joy and pleasure. My brothers and sisters, we need to hold on and to hold on tight to our treasure and pearl of great price, to our faith, our love relationship and life with God. 
we hold on tight by keeping Jesus, God the Father and the Spirit, the center and priority of our lives. To be single-hearted towards God. We hold on tight by continuing to faithfully receive the sacraments, especially the Eucharist and confession. We hold on tight by becoming prayer soldiers, being rooted in prayer, in the privacy of our homes and in public, as a church community as we do now, walking together as brothers and sisters in Christ. We hold on tight by being instruments of mercy in the way we forgive others and the way we show compassion and generosity to the suffering and the needy. My brothers and sisters, the earthly treasures and pearls we acquire and are attached to, like my first car, they fade, grow dim, and lose their brilliance. But the kingdom of heaven, our home with God, our love relationship and life with God, our communion with the saints, they are the treasures that last for all eternity. They are, they are our true treasure and pearl of great price. With, with God's help, may we hold on to them and hold on tight, lest we lose them. This time we profess our faith in the most holy trinity i invite you to please respond i do to the profession of faith do you believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth do you believe in jesus christ his only son our lord who was born of the virgin mary suffered death and was buried rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the father do you believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting this is our faith this is our faith of the catholic church and we are proud to profess it in christ jesus our lord amen We know that God will never abandon us, so we cry out with our needs and the needs of the world, knowing that we will be heard. For the church, our Pope, bishops, and priests, may they continue to lead and guide us to remain rooted in Christ during this difficult time. Let us pray to the Lord. For our government, civil servants, and leaders, may God help them to act and decide for peace justice, liberty, and well-being of all people, let us pray to the Lord. For our confirmandees and first communicants, may they grow deeper in the relationship and love of Jesus with the help of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. For all our healthcare workers, may God strengthen and protect them from infection and harm as they care for those who are ill, let us pray to the Lord. For our nativity, parish, and school families, our ministries, volunteers, and staff, may we remain connected in communion and united in faith, prayer, and rootedness in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all of you watching in your homes and in union with us spiritually, may God protect and bless you with health, peace, faith, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions in our website prayer wall, our priests, staff, and parishioners, the deceased and sick in our community, for Rodney Matanggihan, Luis Alberto Endara, Maria Rosario Manalo, Marvin Mendoza, Tan Duk Duan, Petra Michel, Jesus Navarrete, Nina Fregoso, Belen Gaita, Maria Sepulveda, Wong Nguyen, for our birthday celebrants, Robert Vargas, Jonathan Campos, 
and for those celebrating their wedding anniversaries, let us pray to the Lord. For those infected with the COVID virus, especially Bernadette, Val, and Marlene Rodriguez, Richard Forget, Diane Pierce, Nati Ordonez, for the repose of the soul of those who have succumbed to the virus, Jorge Lugo, Leticia Pacas, Dechi Ordonez, and for peace and consolation of their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For God's healing for Beda Lucero, Rosemary Simon, Julieta Contreras, Claudia Villasenor, Annie T, Mary Kai, Angela Batres, God's blessing and protection for the Yip family, Peggy Prius, Teresa Wong Nguyen, Marie, Paul Ariaga and the Monroy family, and the Montecito neighborhood families, and for those who have lost their jobs or their businesses, may God in His mercy answer their prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for our intentions spoken and unspoken. For all these, let us pray to the Lord. God of life, you are the source and destiny of our lives. Calm the storms in our lives. Kindle your spirit within us and hear the prayers we offer to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd who lives and reigns forever and ever. My sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your praise and the glory of God's name, for our good and of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life, and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. 
And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim you. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, our Auxiliary bishop, Bishops, and all deacons. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her faithful spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. For ever and ever. Amen. 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 
at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace everyone. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O Lord, we have consumed this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. just a few announcements before the final blessing. We congratulate all our first communicants and their families. Next uh, weekend, Next Sunday, August 12th and August 16th, we have our confirmation celebrations at the 8 a.m. Mass. Please keep in your prayers our young people who will receive their confirmation on these two Sundays. Please visit and explore our website, nativityelmonte.org. One word, nativityelmonte.org. 
Using our website, you can now access the readings and song lyrics for the Sunday Mass. You may also offer Mass intentions online, submit prayer requests to our prayer wall, make your sun Sunday contribution, view our live stream ma Sunday Masses, and see some of our Paris photos and videos and more. So visit our website and just get uh, familiarized with the things that we have in our website. Have a be beautiful weekend and Sunday uh, to all of you. So we're just going to use this exit uh, on uh, uh, St. Louis Drive. Myself, uh, Father Joseph, Margie will give communion for those who are receiving communion. And also you'll, you'll have an opportunity to drop your Sunday envelope uh, uh, during that time. The Lord be with you. Your and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nourish and strengthen by the Mass. Let's go in peace to love and glorify God with our lives.
humble to justice To you, oh God, I lift up my soul Lift up my spirit to my Lord To you I lift up my soul To you, oh God, I lift up my soul What an angel, what an angel, Ceci.